Well, Hellfire is Rock the Riff with another metal head in me. And uh, back with some more Septic Flesh. I see this was the last official music video. They've got a couple other lyric videos uh, for the new album, which is called Modern Primitive. Which I think all I'm going to do is this last music video, and then that way I can actually start listening to the whole album uh, outside of YouTube. I'm excited for this record, and I really dig, uh, what was it called? Neuromancer. Neuromancer was a cool track. I digged it a lot. I'm hoping I feel the same about this one, which is called Herophant? Herophant? Hierophant? Maybe. Either way, let's dive on in. Septic flesh. Is that supposed to be that choppy? Whatever it is that they've got combined with that is so cool. I'm assuming it's some type of synth orchestra thing, but it just sounds so full and so evil. I Hero fun. Fan. Hero fan. I really dig that vocal thing that just did right there. I will say that bass player, talented. But I keep looking at his eyebrows. I'm like, I'm like, is that like a style? Do I have really thin eyebrows? It's like they've been stylized like that. I like how tech heavy these guys are, but everything still sounds fun to play. Their drummer is pretty nasty. So they painted him in blood? That is so cool. Whatever that creature design is. I swear I could never get it. It's awesome. It looks like a... 
one of uh, Guillermo del Toro's uh, monsters. I don't think I said his name right at all. The guy that did Hellboy and uh, <clears throat> Pan's Labyrinth. Looks like one of his monster designs. That is so cool. I'd have loved to have been on the set and see that in person. Hell, I'd have liked to play that character. Arabic uh, melody of that I really dig that which if anybody's kept up with some of my older reactions I'm a big fan of that uh, Arabic melody style I don't even know what it's actually called I just that's what it makes me think of like a snake charmer So, I can't be honest, I have no clue what the fuck is going on in the music video, but I like the imagery. That was really cool, because there's nothing but credits. Yeah, that was slick. I'm going to close up of when it was in the sun. That was so fucking cool. Which I'm a big creature feature kind of guy. It's like my favorite horror movies are creatures and stuff. Supernatural creatures and everything. The uh, the Thing. John Carpenter's The Thing. Hands down, probably still my favorite uh, horror movie of all time. I love the practical effects and everything like that. I think the song is good. I don't like this track as much as I do Neuromancer. I think overall that was a better song. I think this song is catchy. It has moments that I really dig. I'm more impressed with the music video than I am the track. I would give this four. I'd give it four horns. I mean, it's it's a damn good song. I think after hearing Neuromancer and how groovy and catchy that was, uh, it's like the rest of the album's got to live up to that. For me personally. And I'm still a big fan of Septic Flesh. I like their sound, their imagery. I kind of picked on the bass player's eyebrows, but I mean, I don't really give a fuck what his eyebrows look like. I just, just stood out to me for a minute. The dude's talented as all get out being a front man and a bass player. So I have major respect for that. Uh, what else can I say? I, I want to give this another set of horns for the creature right here i'm curious if anybody knows what the story of that is and if you know please leave it in the comments let me know and if you're new to the channel leave a like subscribe plenty more stuff to come uh, i have a whole gaming side of my channel that doesn't really get promoted that much i had a guy comment the other day saying he didn't even know i played games and uh, i don't know why youtube doesn't shoot that out as much as uh the metalhead envy series but either way with that being said stay positive stay rocking and i'll catch you in the next one